<laughs> hey Dragon Slayers, today's video is about del delivering the truth about diverticulitis part four. So when Dr. Barry realized the patient was taking ibuprofen daily and he discussed ways that the patient could control their joint pain aside from taking ibuprofen all the time. Over the next few months, the patient quit smoking, lost a few pounds, and stopped taking the ibuprofen in favor of getting a weekly massage therapy. Now, the patient very rarely, less than once a year, has a flare-up of diverticulitis, even though they eat nuts and seeds every day. We can, therefore, add diverticulitis to the growing list of things caused by being overweight, smoking, and taking too many pills. We seem to be uncovering a pattern that these three things are dangerous to our long-term health. They won't kill you today, but they will harm you a little bit each day until the damage <clears throat> builds to the point that it causes a health catastrophe in the future. You can do an internet search for diverticulitis and seeds to find hundreds of bloggers and news outlets who know that nuts and seeds can't cause diverticulitis. Therefore, if your doctor tells you this medical lie, I suggest that you get up, walk out of their office before they finish, finish their next sentence. They are either unread, lazy, or both. And you can do better for your health, much better. You also can print a copy of the study and mail it to them or drop it off or drop off a copy at their office. Maybe he will read it and give better advice to his other patients. I suggest that you do as Dr. Barry does. He loves nuts and seeds and eats some every day. He doesn't smoke and he tries hard to keep his weight under control. He's never suffered from diverticulitis, but if he ever does, he would still eat nuts and seeds, and you should too. So, for the other resources, you can find the JAMA article that I mentioned earlier. I put it in the description below. You can read it yourself and print a copy for your doctor. After you read this article, you are going to be at a loss as to why doctors repeat this lie. Please be gentle when you give a copy to your doctor. Evidently, he can't help uh, but perpetuate the myth. So that's really sad that there are so many doctors out there that still believe this. Um, I had a friend a long time ago, I think I mentioned that um, his doctor told him this and I had never heard of it. And it's really sad that this was, I want to say 2018, maybe 2019 was the last time I heard about it. So it's still been pretty recent, unfortunately. And this is one of those myths that refuses to die. But like with all things, you have to study to know the truth. And when you know the truth, please lovingly share it with others. This isn't about condemnation or judgment, you know, but know the truth, follow the truth, and help others discover the truth. I strongly believe in that, and that's what I've got for you guys today. So don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. And remember, guys, that together, you and I will slay the dreaded diabetes dragon.